Hello and welcome to Adrift. Now, I covered this one very briefly and there's a VR video and I also did a kind of funny one where there was EVA free mode which allowed me to uh, fly all the way to planet Earth um, but it was largely uninteresting. So this video is the first in a kind of let's play walkthrough series. Um, a couple of people said they really like to see that. Uh, so I'm going to set about doing that for you. Um, I'm not going to do this in VR because just to be quite honest with the DK2 I felt so sick um, floating about in space. It was just too much. I could probably only manage like five minutes at a time. But it's not just the five minutes at a time. It's the recovery because I feel sick um, even looking at a normal monitor game. Um, for quite some time after like at least 24 hours um, I feel a bit queasy so that's that's how bad it can get um, I really need to get myself a new VR unit um, I don't know whether to stick with Oculus or whether to go with Vive um, I, I'll just have to play it by ear um, anyway without further ado um, I'm gonna get started and we're going to set up a new game. Survivor detected. Survivor detected. Survivor detected. Survivor detected. Survivor located. Initializing EBA HUD display. Oxygen leak detected. Emergency life support system online. Manual oxygen refill required. Okay, so um, as we kind of looked at last time, um, things have gone really badly wrong up here. Um, we have to keep grabbing air because the EVA suit is pretty badly damaged. And we need to find our way around and find a way to get home. And along the way we need to pick up um, various bits and bobs of information. Now, if anyone's seen the film Gravity then uh, you know, you're going to get a real sense for how this game plays out. Initializing Hardeman Aerospace Identification Sequence. Data transfer in progress. Identification verified. Oshima, Alex. Commander, Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4. Vital signs, stable. So I am Commander Oshima. Let's get some more air. Get out of the way. Right, we need to go through this door because it's uh, highlighted as the uh, kind of diamond shape on the on the sonar, radar, whatever it is, map. Now you have to be uh, because basically the thrust is is being done with the oxygen reserve. EVA propulsion system damaged. Oxygen repurposed as shared life support and there propulsion resource. Continual propulsion use incrementally depletes EVA oxygen reserves. It's basically explained exactly what I was about to explain. Um, you know, so that you have to be super efficient with the oxygen you use to propel yourself. 
Now, what you have to consider is that you're in space, so once you get up to speed, um, you don't need to kind of keep your finger on it and keep using the air and, and whatnot. So you can just keep going. I'm just going to snag one of these right now. And we've got to keep our eyes out for hard drives and things like that. And we have to be ca careful of these uh, electric sparks because they will do us some serious harm. So we're in a hazardous area. Every time. And we've got no way to communicate back at the moment. So from time to time we're going to get these incoming communications uh, which effectively guide us around a little bit. Let's grab some more air. So yeah, once you're up to speed you don't need to kind of keep keep going. So just be super efficient. Just light touches. And away you go. We've got to pick up the data as we go. And they help to tell the story. Every time we leave kind of um, enclosed areas, Harmony we are at risk. Space North Star 4. Catastrophic event detected. Origin point. Terminated. So you can see the space station's in a pretty, pretty bad way. Uh, there's there's blips all over the the kind of the radar or whatever, which help you to kind of locate um, the oxygen in, in the very least. But sometimes the hard drives and stuff are are marked up on it as well when you come within range. Mission control to North Star Four survivors. Do you copy? <sighs> You see, over there, it's saying there's something in there. So we could try and get over there. But what you have to do is be careful because, um, as you can see, reserves are depleting quite quickly. And it's looking like there's nothing over here. Okay, hopefully we can make it back in time. Well, as you can see, I made it over on a gnat's breath. <laughs> uh, right, so, yeah, you have to be careful with um, which way you follow. Um, basically, you do go off that way later on in the game, so don't worry about that for now. I would just basically say stick to trying to find the uh, the closer objectives. This isn't anything. Looks like a, I don't know, a bit like a CD, but not quite. CD box. Anyway, onward with the mission. Now you see the air mission stations are eight, offline. July 2037. Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4. No remaining survivors. And the terminal's offline over there. And there's a hard drive right there, look. Normally it pops up with that fairly quickly, so you, you know where to look. Right, hopefully there's some air out here. Yeah. Here we go. And, you know, a lot of this game is quite kind of slow-paced. 
Warning. Just be careful, careful. So we've got to repair some aspects of the space station. And right now, we're in a kind of crew bay. EVA repair station located. Right. Let's just do this bit first. So here we've got some guy's terminal here. Olivier. Let's check out Olivier's quarters. Bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. And we hold the F key to access these terminals and then we can read through the text. Sebastian, thanks for the push again. Called in a favour to get a transfer approved for McDonough today. We'll be at least a week before hearing back from Santa Monica. Everything looks good, but I'm still going to need him to get us into Spiritus Beta and crew expansion. Hopefully he can keep it together until July. Honestly, I just think he'll be relieved. He's ready to go. He's probably not the only one either. You, you believe it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission? The story of my life. Hudson's been beating me with this stick since we were kids. This has gotten me in trouble more times than I care to count. Someday I'll learn. A. I think that's me. That's uh, Alex. I've noticed you are looking well lately. This makes me happy. Alex. You must not beat yourself up over these things. Yes, you have sharp edges. You believe it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. These qualities that you possess do not always make everyone happy, but they are part of who you are. They are admirable. Try not to let it weigh you down. We're all flawed in some ways. I have made many, many mistakes. Leadership is not for the weak, ma petite. Now you must focus on young Andrew. He is no longer connected to what we are doing here. His heart is at home, his soul with his daughter. That is where he belongs. He is broken and you can provide the means for him to begin healing. I know you will do the right thing. Votre ami de Val. Sebastien. So that's Sebastian Olivier, is it? Uh, Sebastien. Thank you for yesterday. It's been difficult for me to find my rhythm out here, but your advice and guidance is always appreciated and exactly what I need to hear. I'm just really grateful for everything you've done for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't always do the right thing, but I try to do the best thing. Leading is hard. Thanks for understanding that, that and believing in me. And then there's a little heart icon. Okay, that's that. Onward we go. What's that say down there? Mieux vaut tard que jamais. Is that Brie? Ce vieux diamant faux. I have no idea what that means. Right, we've got to get out of here without using too much oxygen. I'm hoping that sat there looking at a terminal isn't using much oxygen and it, it doesn't seem to anyway. I didn't really t pay much attention to that last time around. Okay, let's get into this repair station to try and repair our suit a little bit. Which apparently was quite damaged but I'm looking around the helmet, it doesn't look damaged at all right now. For EVA repair sequence complete. Vital sign stable. Okay. Now, if we go on this way. We have my room, because I'm Oshima. Yeah, don't bash into things. That 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 breaks your suit quite quickly. <laughs> okay, more emails. 
Commander Oshima, I've reviewed your Spiritus production plan ahead of review. You are tracking positively and I remain optimistic. Regarding your alternate proposal, I can see very real benefits here and the data supports your plan around increased Spiritus production methodologies. The opportunity to implement parts of this plan into our current efforts exist and frankly speaking are innovative. That being said, I believe it is imperative that you not deviate from current objectives. The health of your crew, your station and our mission have all been negatively affected by delays and extended timelines. Stick to plan, close this down and bring us home, Commander. This is your moment to shine. Samuel Hocking, Mission Director. Director Hocking. I've prepared and packaged the requested data materials. Han 4 Administra has been instructed to schedule and conduct a full briefing for you and your staff. I have also included an alternate and aggressive Spiritus production proposal that I believe warrants discussion and consideration. This is something I believe we can accomplish within our dates with minimal impact and maximum benefit. I look forward to your review and comments. Alex Oshima Commander Oshima 04 September 2037 has been identified as Luna 2 Settlement. Details around official briefing and announcement are being finalised and will upload to Han 4 Administra within 72 hours. In advance of this information, I'm taking this opportunity to remind you that initial est the initial success of our next lunar colonization effort rests on you and your crew's shoulders. Spiritus progress is encouraging, but leaves little room for failure. I'd like a full mission update and objective refresh before your settlement date, dissemination and crew download. Okay, so there seems to be a little bit of a tug of war. Uh, with regard to mission objectives, what's that? Lopez review, Lopez review promotion. Okay, let's get out of here. We back out nicely there. Now, let's head out this door and on further into the space station. Let's pick up this data pad. Pan for personal data device version 4.7 acquired. Multiple personal data devices detected and online. Location coordinates unknown. Okay, we'll just throw that then around in the space station. That's a that's a real smart move there. Okay, so in here. Warning: catastrophic event detected. Core systems repair required for emergency escape vehicle launch. This is the Han 4 Cerebrum. This is basically the core of the space station. And this is where basically we're going to get our mission objectives. Um, and the only terminal that's alive is Spiritus. Activating Spiritus system terminal. Spirited system damaged and offline. Initializing diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Mainframe offline. Cerebrum module inactive. Spirited system repair required for Salvis EEV life support system operation. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum core. Repair cerebrum module. Okay, so basically we've got to find the Spiritus mainframe, uh, generate a new Spiritus core, and then attach it to the Cerebrum to, in order to fix the Spiritus module. Um, right, now I know already that that's a bit of a mission and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching Adrift for uh, episode one. Um, we've gotten to Cerebrum. Um, and now we need to head down and sort out Spiritus. So if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the old like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks and bye bye for now. In here,